Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, for yet another episode of First Hour. My name is Colin Tanner from Video Games Are Dumb, and I'm here to check out the first hour of a recently released video game with you, the legions of First Hour Faithful. So please remember to like, subscribe, share, and bring the fire in the comments below for this episode, Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4. What's that you're saying? Call of Duty is the name of the game. It's Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Let's not kid ourselves. There's a big difference between every other Call of Duty and what Treyarch puts out in their Black Ops trilogy. The games are tighter. They're more customizable. Uh, the, I Honestly, I just think they play better. They feel better. Yes, they release a Call of Duty every year, but for me, it's the Treyarch releases that really count, especially now that Infinity Ward is, well, whatever you want to call Infinity Ward. It's, it's not what it used to be. So, I've already played the beta from, uh, what was that, over the summer, and we're going to play some Team Deathmatch in here, we're going to get right into it. I've muted everybody, uh, <laughs> I recommend you do the same. I'll tell you this much, what my experience is from the beta is that they took the double jumping mechanic of Advanced Warfare and they really customized it. It's all about control in these uh, Treyarch games, and rather than just having a simple button that makes you just jump and then double jump, they give you sort of a gauge, allowing you to kind of control it uh, to see how long you want to hover. It's, it's a really cool mechanic and it basically removes ladders. There are no ladders in this game that I saw during the beta. I had a hell of a time playing it. And I'm excited to get back in, but let me be honest with you right here. If you're expecting some amazing Call of Duty player uh, kill streaks left and right, you're not going to get that here. This is the first hour. You know what you're getting into. There are 300 episodes of the show. You know what you're getting into. This is just me playing the game and uh, having some fun and having some fun with you. Legions of First Hour Faithfuls. Already I could say, I just, I love the look of this. There are different classes, nine different classes uh, that you unlock throughout this uh, multiplayer campaign. So we're taking a look at everybody. They all chose uh, dumb characters. They all, they all chose the wrong characters. I picked the right characters. Because I got my electrical gun. Which, uh, if you didn't see that. I wonder how many of these people have actually played the beta. Uh, if you're having any trouble connecting online with the servers on the PlayStation 4. I really recommend that you actually reset your PlayStation 4. Uh, by going under the power options. And uh, even if it won't connect to the servers then. Uh, go to the main menu, allow, you know, proceed to the main menu, and then hit play online. Death That's match. what I had to go through. Uh, you planning on bringing down a cargo transport with that thing? On mission. All right. I gotta get my bearings back. There we are. I seriously have not played one second of this. I swear. Uh, they have a sound test in the, uh... Yes! My first kill in this game, and no death. Uh, now let's ignore all the other deaths that I'm about to have. Because we're here for fun, remember? <laughs> oh damn, you can't jump on top of that. This is one of the- oh crap. This was one of the beta matches. You gotta use that at the hip fire. I know some people frown upon that, I do not care. You gotta go at the hip. Every opportunity that you get. If somebody's up close and in your face, at the hip, always. Uh, sweet. Ah! In a lesser game, I would have fallen to my death, but this is Treyarch's. Grenade, oh, Scrubzilla! I'm liking this. Oh crap! Yeah, as soon as I talk trash, I die. What about it? What are you trying to say? Just because I talk trash, I die? What, what big deal. Oh man, I got fast hands, afterburner. You gotta wait till level five to, you know, do all your stuff. I always really like the um, the shadow effects. There we go. I'll take care of him. Dumbass. Check those corners, soldier. Uh, you know when I was waiting in line, somebody was talking about, man, they just got a they got a remake. Oh crud! They got a remake. Modern Warfare, the first one. That's all we want. Why don't they just remake it? And I would, I would argue that as beloved as that game is and how you can still go back to it and have a good time that the general fan base would probably prefer that Black Ops 2 get remade before uh, Modern Warfare Ugh, I'm lone wolfing it I Borat just killed me alright I like the name alright we're gonna play it a little bit more slow we're gonna go at our own speed make people catch up to us 
Friendly Hellstorm inbound. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. There were a lot of guys here last time. There's a nice little hiding space here. Saw this when I was playing the beta. So if you're a punk, you can hide down here. Though I'm not sure why you would. So, in case you want to learn something about this game. Oh, there we go. Energy surplus available. I'm going to save that um, Tempest for when I'm dealing with some real, real things. Looks like there's a large group of people over here. You can also do that slide. Oh crud, god damn it. My Tempest, my Tempest carries over though, so I'm good. But uh, Tempest, some people say it's a little too cheap. Uh, I'm sure they balanced it out a little bit. You gotta be real careful with how you use it. Oh, baby. Friendly UAV. And none of these people, I don't think, will have anything that will mask their location yet. There we go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Iced. Shooting nothing for the first half of that. Come on, I know you're there. Oh, crud. See, that's what I'm talking about. That at the hip. Don't even waste your time with those iron sights. You're too close. What's the point? So that you're going to miss a bunch? And don't get me wrong. If you're really skilled in this game, I'm sure uh, you've got no issue pulling off some pretty sweet iron sight skills when people are up close. But Alright. Maybe that's why you do it. You're getting plenty of UAVs. Oh, crud. So I'm spotted on this guy. He's got me marked. Where'd he go? Ah, he, was, he did the same thing I did. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, boss. Yeah, not really digging this gun, uh, but it's the best of the bunch here. Not so much the gun, the customization of the gun. Sometimes I just do that because uh, I want to get their attention. I want them to know that I'm here. So maybe they'll turn around and uh, try and kill me. Oh, he goes the different way. He goes the cool way. Uh, he's dead. Probably got somebody with them though. You know, if you're a fan of split screen uh, play, you know, be happy. This game does include split screen play. I know a lot of people were very bummed out that Halo did not include that. Well, here's your solution. Oh, come on. The world is watching. Show them the win. UAV inbound. The world is watching. Is this some sort of simulation? I forget. There is some sort of story for the uh, the multiplayer. right out here. Oh. Getting paranoid. Ah, shit. I still got my Tempest, but there's just... I need a group of them. Otherwise, I'm just wasting it. Take some alternative routes here. I'll just keep doing the same old thing. You. You know, the problem with a lot of Call of Duty players, and I'm not talking smack, uh, I understand a lot of ideas about online competitive play with first-person shooters, not everything, but some very basics. And I see a lot of the same mistakes. People don't, for some reason... Means maximum victories. <laughs> fantastic. People tend to treat these games almost like they're two-dimensional once they find an opponent. Moving back and moving forward, but really taking advantage of moving left curving around your opponent. These are ideas that obviously were popularized in the Halo series, but they really do carry over. Great. You never stood a chance. Well, okay. He's a little confident. 
Mr. Super Fantastic. What? Okay, all right, there is Mr. Fantastic, all the Fantastic Four, <laughs> Dr. Reed's, <laughs> Reed Richards, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and you're saying that you're a Super Fantastic, Mr. Super Fantastic? Uh, I'm not really sure how that would happen. I mean, are you discussing some sort of idea of him uh, getting more powers, uh, similar to, to what exactly, to stretch farther? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't understand that. Are you talking about the Infinity Gems? What, what is this concept, all right? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> uh, create a class. So we got a new optic. We're going to introduce that. Very good. We're not really able to personalize much here. No optics are really available. I don't even want to use a launcher. I want to use a pistol. Uh, tactical, lethal, lethal, perk one. Yeah, I don't have enough tokens to buy that yet. Um, the way that the um, the way that the creative client system works in this game is it's 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 more about uh, reaching a certain percentage. So let's say, for instance, that uh, I don't really care about grenades, and maybe I don't want a perk or whatever it is. Okay, and and I want to just soup up my main machine gun with a bunch of different things, like reducing recoil with like certain items and having certain scopes and, and having a grenade launcher on it, all sorts of things like that. You can do that. You just gotta reduce the other percentages in other areas. It's, it's highly customizable and it's super satisfying. Uh, it really gives you at least the feel that there are more possibilities in the game. Now this might be a new map for me. I don't... Nope. Didn't play this map. Never got a chance to use my Tempest uh, last time. So each of these nine classes has um, a special ability. Uh, they actually have two special abilities, but you select one. So for instance, uh, some people use Glitch, which it sort of replicates the feel of lag on uh, opposing characters uh, when they're facing you. There we go. I prefer Tempest, which is like a big old lightning gun. Oh, I think I did this stage. It was a good stage. Area is hot. Consider all contacts hostile. Now I know the comments that these videos get. Uh, Call of Duty, same old thing every single year. I mean, you know, come on guys. There are plenty of awesome series that do the same thing every single year. I mean, look at Dynasty Warriors. Fantastic series. Same thing every single year. NBA 2K. Same thing every year. They just try and polish it a little bit. Fix it up. Oh, see, I'm talking too much. It's, um... It's not a big deal, you know? Annual franchises are not necessarily a bad thing. Now, in the case of something like Assassin's Creed, wow, that guy's uh, got my number. What kind of gun is that? Smoke, check. Maybe I'll switch over to um, choose class. I'll switch over to that gun. Can I change the optics in here? Nah, they're stuck. Traditional Call of Duty stuff. Hostile Man, that guy is above. killing us. Alright. Buzzkill. Let's run with this dude. Always good to run in pairs. You know, I don't know why I thought me running in there was going to make the difference. And I honestly thought the shots were coming from outside of that room. This was... Yeah, this is part of the... This was part of the beta. There's actually a really... Oh, okay. Superior my ass. <laughs> Superior my ass. There's a really cool, um, like, cave area that I'm going to try and show you. Hopefully I don't die. It looks like a lot of people are dying around here. This is, uh, this is super gorgeous. I love the dynamic here, too. You can just... Oh, yeah. I don't think you could go underwater in the other games. It's hard to remember. See, look at that. How cool. How cool was that? How cool was that? Come on. That was cool, right? I had a good time. I'm gonna give this guy all the opportunities he needs. Crap. My mistake. I told you I'm no good at the game. I just really like playing it. And I've been playing the Call of Duty series um, since Modern Warfare. I played Call of Duty 2 as well. But that just feels like it's not even the same franchise anymore. I mean, for the love of God, you know, something trying to replicate historical events, not really anymore. 
can't believe I got that dude with the waterfall trick. Come on in. Come on in. You want to do it? Let's do it. Oh, God. It's right behind me. Look at me. And that guy's probably like, what a dumbass. He's just standing there. Should have done a double jump back into the waterfall. There's a good little kill nest over here. As long as you get into this building. You got a pretty good angle. As long as no one comes from behind me. Okay, okay. I just think this game looks gorgeous. I think this is one of the best looking games of the generation so far. No ifs, ands, or buts. Um, super impressive. Uh, the best looking Call of Duty to date. And, uh, you know, there's what else can you say? It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm sure, you know, some people will poo-poo that and say, what about Crisis 3? And... Yeah, yeah. But uh, for me, this is one of the best looking first person shooters I've ever played. And it, it just performs beautifully. Oh, crap. I hate those fucking drones. Give me talent working. Kill. Ah, whatever. Those drones can be pretty damn tough. My Tempest is ready. I just need to find a location with a good amount of people to fight. Um, I really don't want to burn it. Because if I pull it out and shoot it and nothing happens, like, why am I even showing you, you know? Uh, this guy looks like he might be up for some Tempest. Okay, so, that will actually, oh god. Ha, okay, cool. This might show, uh, all the other people being affected. Aw, oh, damn. So, the Tempest, as long as people are with, in range of the attack, it'll actually create a, a chain attack taking out surrounding players. Uh, okay. Right now I have it set to, um... I have it set to default uh, sensitivity. And I'm gonna keep it like that uh, while I do this video because uh, more movement means uh, more data. And, uh, I'm, uh, you know... After what happened with the battle, uh, Battlefront video, which you guys never saw, I'm a little worried <laughs> about what might happen if I do that. There we go. Oh, damn! <laughs> There's something about the, um, the melee attacks. I think they're different this year. They don't instantly take out people. So see, they're changing stuff up. That's a huge component. Whoa, okay. Thanks. Whoever. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> See that? That's how you do it. Just gotta get back in the zone. That slide is crucial. Um, oh, we got a lot of people here. I remember exactly where he was, so that helps. Okay. He's still gonna pop his head out, I just know it. Go for it, man. Mission failed. Can't win them all, guys. Take it to him next time. Listen to you. you sound just like my robotic father. You know. Just the choice of locations, one I think shot, it's... One shot, one kill. Won't even hear it coming. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I just think it's, it's, it's fantastic, the, uh... The choice of locations. It just, um... It's, they choose locations that are, are so different from the Call of Duty series. And, uh, I really appreciate that. Treyarch are, are just, they are masterful. They are masterful in their... Uh, take on this on this uh, franchise and it's just it's so weird to me that Infinity Ward could start it and, and Treyarch just picks up the ball and does a better job than the original creators when does that ever happen when has that ever resulted in anything good and you might say uh you know uh, I don't I, I I don't know um 
you know, like Fallout or something. Um, but in case you don't know, Fallout was originally from uh, Interplay somewhere. I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. And, you know, Bethesda picked it up. That's neither here nor there. Um, because those those sequels are, are so far apart from each other. Um, but the idea of an ongoing series having the person following it up and, and just producing a better game, that's, uh, that's a real rarity. That's a real rarity. Um, you know, I'm digging the online so far. Wow. Level 9. The guy's a level 9 already. This game has been out for... An hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> I had some online connectivity issues. Otherwise, I would have been recording even earlier. Um, it's just... I don't know. And I get it. People just don't like Call of Duty. And that's fine. That's your prerogative. You don't like Call of Duty. But I like it. And, uh... Well, you know. Like I always say, you know. I like Call of Duty. And uh, I like JRPGs. And uh, I play visual novels from time to time. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, still got my Dreamcast. Love Shenmue. Where's your god now? Where's your god now? <laughs> I like it all, man. You know. So, there's no shame in liking Call of Duty. It's almost ridiculous. And it's it's becoming this thing where people are talking trash about Call of Duty. And they play it secretly. Like, what what is going on? We gotta end this bizarre conformist video game culture that somehow, you know... To be the to be smart, you have to follow a certain philosophy on which games are good and which games are bad. Like I don't really like the Assassin's Creed series that much. I just don't. And um, I meet people that love the Assassin's Creed series, respect their opinion. That's okay. They're like, I like it being annualized. I don't want them to go away for a while. You know, I'm on the totally different opinion. I'm gonna get shot. I just I fucking know. Ah, oh, man. Where is everybody? That means they're right about to... to drop right on me, aren't they? Any second now. I, from what I've understood, they've done a lot of work in... in getting the, um... the, uh... the spawn points to be a little bit more randomized, a little bit more fair. There were certain locations in this one snow level on the beta that was, it was just, you know, sniper haven. And that's where they spawned you. Uh, just not a smart move on their part. Look at this. This is reminiscent of another, um, stage from... Uh, which one was it? Some Call of Duty, which took place in a theme park. Was that Modern Warfare 2? Oh my god, okay, you know what, fair enough, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna make that. Sorry, by three people. You can certainly beat three people in Call of Duty, but that was rough. Okay, got the assist, not bad. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Ugh. Crappy shooting on my part. Not digging this gun as much as when it didn't have sights. It's kind of funny. In fact, I'm actually gonna go in here. Oh, I can't change it. What am I talking about? This person's found themselves a little kill haven, huh? Just to be on the safe side. I really thought they'd be here. I haven't gotten one kill on this stage yet. That is the dream. That is the focus right now. So he's going that way. Ah, interesting. Little wall running opportunity over there. Do we just not have enough people on this map? I, 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 how do I bump into like three people and then nobody? 
Wow. Okay, that guy's ready. Yeah, I gotta change out my weapons. I'm gonna go with uh, back to that thing. Never been uh, particularly into sniping after uh, Modern Warfare Part One. I know sniper rifles were a lot more popular in Modern Warfare Two. They just it felt cheap. Oh fuck! All right, we're going in. We're not screwing around here. That's the thing. Uh, when you play Call of Duty, when you play any game online, really, you got those hot streaks and cold streaks, and uh, everything fluctuates. Because you got to remember, your cold streak is somebody else's hot streak. Consider that. That's one to grow on. I just realized that wink probably made it seem like I meant something else there. I'm sorry. This guy is so good. He's not good at all, but he is so in the zone right now. He's like, nah, nobody's gonna stop me. And he's probably right. Well, me and this uh, this buddy of mine, we're gonna work together. We're gonna take this dude out. Oh god, they're right behind us. Okay. Well, the Tempest is ready, which means they are in for some shit. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? God damn. Oh, come on! Oh, this is the worst thing in the world. Playing Call of Duty while being recorded. Because <laughs> you know what's going to happen. You, you suck at the game. You, you, you're the worst Call of Duty player ever. You want to learn some skills, check out my YouTube channel. Like, all right. You got it. Ah, shit. They are just, they are working together as a team and they're doing a great job. So we just got to all stick together. Great sound design this game as well. It's very easy to tell where an enemy is coming from or shooting from just by the sound. Um, you can really say that Call of Duty kicked off the uh, the quote-unquote gamer headphones. Ah, crud. Look at that. Messy fucking kill. <laughs> eh. At least I'm picking it back up. And, you know, I'm actually getting more kills now that I swapped out guns. I think this one has a faster fire rate. Uh, lower accuracy. I could be totally wrong about that. But I usually do better with those types of guns. Just give me the fire rate. I'll, I'll get the bullets to him somehow. Well, I'm not do going there alone. Wow. See, every time we do this... You know, I'm going to drop out this lobby next time and try and find some crappy players like me. Spot neutralized. Move, move. Tip is charged. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh man. Yeah, when you see that UAV, you're seeing why they win right there. They are all together. They are covering every single angle. They're probably communicating very well online. I would not be surprised if this is somehow a group. If not, the majority of uh, the people in that room are a group. Recruits? we'll jump into a different room. It's already been 30 minutes? It's crazy. Oh no, my stomach. 
get back to boot camp. What what'd you just say? Wait 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 what did you just say there? I mean, no matter what, uh, th that's kind of the cool thing about Call of Duty is that, unlike other first-person shooters, which have a rabid fan base um, and and high technical players, uh, there's so many people playing Call of Duty that you're bound to find a room that um, is going to be able to take uh, take your skill level into account and 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 you know put you with uh, within reasonable goals, and uh, you know that helps you get better. Obviously, you want to play against better players too, just because it'll teach you a lot of new tactics and. Uh, Get you the best feel for the game. Alright. I'm gonna back out of here. Leave this lobby. Yes. Create a class. Let's uh, look into this again. So we can get a different attachment now. Hmm. Can't unlock any of this stuff yet. Optics. So there's some other gun here. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, we'll keep that as it is. I don't really like this gun, so we're going to swap that out for, um, this new guy that I just got. Can't add anything onto him yet, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll use this next time. Because we're going to go find a new match. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll just do more team deathmatch. 50% can't be wrong. I, I probably should take place in the vote. Uh, Alright. I don't think we've gone to fringe yet. So we'll go with that for this one. Hoping to actually get a little bit more kills here. Felt like I did, felt like I did okay the first match. That might just be because I had a really good team I was with. Uh, it seems like they balanced the team afterwards, and I got killed. Yep, didn't go to Fringe yet, so looking forward to this. Also, a big part of this game is learning the nuances of every single map. Uh, learning the opportunities that you have. Look, you know, for what environments might be good for grenades, or uh, er areas that might be risky, and, and learning how to infiltrate those areas, um, you know, in case somebody's in there, or a group of people are in there. Really love the, uh, the look of the, uh, the individual characters here. I just think it's so cool to adding the um, playing as nine different classes. That's super cool, super super cool. Big fan. And I like that uh, Tempest dude. Kind of looks like Night Owl when in in, in in the shot here. They all look like superheroes. It's just understanding the market and where uh, you know pop culture is right now. Very much a project of the time. All right. Oh. Oh. I totally got rid of my other gun. Okay. Outrider headed out. We'll have to get good with this one then. Back, sister. Lock and load. Oh man. That was rough. That was rough. Got hit with some sort of flash grenade right away. Okay. Ah, there he is. Fuck. Blended right in with the background there. So this is real, real, real close range. Which is fine. It just means I need to be... Aware of my surroundings. Go into these areas. See? Like that? Lots of windows in here. That's not going to do me any favors. Alright, that UAV is really going to help out with a gun like this. Figure out how I can sneak up real close. Fuck that. Too many skulls. So if someone have never played a Call of Duty game before, that's just telling me exactly where people have been killed. Ah, oh, that guy's being super slick. And it's paying off for him because he's killing everybody. Killing everybody on the team. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, it was a pistol. Embarrassing. Well, I suppose I can switch from my pistol for the longer range. It's actually not a bad idea. Let that guy go. Oh god. Okay. See, there's nowhere safe. Everywhere, there's a door, there's a window, there's a way for them to gain access to you. It's a very good design. Keeps you paranoid, which is a good thing. Oh, there we go. Whoop. See you guys. Ah, nuts. I'm going to be using that slide a ton to get uh, in and out of cover. Should be somebody here right now. My hands always sweat when I play Call of Duty. They don't always sweat when I play other things. This is Call of Duty. <laughs> Alright. Come and get it. Oh, God damn it. Mm, whatever. I, oh, I should have uh, let you see that kill cam so you can see how that, that effect works. It shows you where everyone around your area is. It's pretty useful. Can't confirm. There's someone right behind me, isn't there? Yep. A couple of people. Come back out. I just want to talk. No. Well, couldn't hurt. I'm just gonna shoot in random directions. Oh, I'm so dead. Ugh. Even with my tempest gun, I'm just shooting randomly. Why couldn't I film a hot streak? Why couldn't I film when I'm super good at the game? Or at least when I think I'm super good at the game because I'm getting a lot of kills. Really trying to focus in on this round, just because uh, skills were really slipping. But I did get my first kill on my very first match. That's all that matters. Loving the detail. Come See, in. this is a map I didn't play before, so I'm really trying to memorize every choke point and uh, whatever. There we go. Hello. Ah oh, man. Uh, do it. Tech on. Deploy UAV. Awesome, we got a UAV now. Hey, two of those kills were from melee attacks, so I feel pretty good. Because melee attacks are pretty tricky in this one. Alright. Aw, oh, man. I thought we totally got that guy. Uh, it doesn't matter. We were down by 20 points. Let's see how stylish this is. Now we don't feel so bad. <laughs> People are playing like that. How much time we got left? Wow. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance. Only 20 more minutes in the first hour. I would, uh love to do some first hour of some other stuff in the game, but I'm not sure what's going to get me on YouTube and what's going to get me taken down. Last year, 
I did a video on the first hour of uh, Advanced Warfare, and um, it was taken down. Um, I tried everything I could to make it work multiple times, and you know, muting tracks, and it was it was saying that it was visually identified, which is like, pff, well, fine. There's nothing I can do with that, <laughs> you know. Smoke screen. All right. Uh, create class. Let's get in there. Reflex. Quick draw. I'm a little nervous. That, um... Using that optic might actually make it more difficult. Look at that! You can change the optic for every, uh... Every game if you want to play campaign, multiplayer, zombies. That's cool. Of course, you can also play the entire campaign online with friends. There is a four-player co-op there. Or you can also play split screen. You know? Let me make sure that's true. Just two players on uh, in local. But four players online. Come on, guys. What more do you want? That is co-op right there. That is what you don't get in Halo. You're getting that in Black Ops. You're getting that in the Black Ops 3 over here. I'm smelling the game. It smells good. This game smells alright. I get the smell an 8 out of 10. Smell of the ear. Smell of the ear. Need more players to balance. Ugh. I should probably duck out of here. I'll duck out of this lobby. Find a new one. Is anyone playing hardcore? Only 8% are playing hardcore. I'll play some hardcore. Hardcore team deathmatch. Hardcore is where um you can kill your own teammates and it only takes a couple of bullets to uh to die and to kill so it's actually uh pretty different from call of duty i don't know when it was first introduced uh i know i started playing it in modern warfare after a while because you know and it it gets you it, it messes with you a bit because you'll get better in some aspects and worse in other aspects but it'll get you very good at finding your target and shooting your target um in the main game uh, the only problem is that you might not be accustomed to how many bullets they'll take. And so you'll, you know, they'll just run away. You might not, uh, you need to adapt to that. But that's easier than um, learning how to just totally lock in on your targets. And it really just removes all the, the power of your special attacks. Alright. So, my wimpy gun with not very good long distance is sort of a long distance death machine now. So we have no mini-map. That's another big part of this. Still got all of your powers. Your double jumps, your whatnots. This uh, mode involves a lot more listening, I find. There we go. See that? Didn't take nearly as many shots. Okay. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Not really, buddy. Automatic gun. There were plenty of shots going on. Yeah, no UAVs. Uh, see, I got paranoid about those footsteps. So it also teaches you to listen. It really does. It teaches you to... Pay far more attention. Oh god. Oh wow. Thanks teammate. Um. Oh we do get the UAV. Wow. Sorry. Sorry opposing team. You're, you're screwed. Nice try with the trip mine though. Just sit out in the open with the damn trip mine. That's a great idea. Ah, oh, nuts. They blew up my UAV right when I went in there. Oh, good. Everyone's doing great online, I can tell. Lots of lag there. 
Ah, he's doing better. Okay. Friendly UAV inbound. Okay. Longer waiting period as well. Wow. So you really don't want to die. You never want to die, but like... Even in real life, you never really want to die. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh... In this mode especially, because you're going to have to wait a lot longer. So we'll just go upstairs. And we'll go and hit this guy in the head. So... Somebody just shot at me. Not cool, but uh, what are you going to do? It takes a lot longer. Uh, you, you, oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That was my teammate. You saw it. Self-defense. He had a gun. <laughs> I feel bad now. I really do. Ah, uh, whatever. I hope that was my teammate doing that. Just being like, fuck you, man. Oh, wow. He's in the doorway. Okay. I do kind of prefer this mode. Um, I don't know. It goes back and forth for me. I feel like I do a lot better here. I, I can't tell if it's hard mode or easy mode. You know what I mean? Like, I feel more in tune. I feel more alive when I play this mode. Is that a ladder? Oh, man. For a second, I thought they actually had a ladder in here. I could not believe that. And they do not. Because they have gotten rid of the ladders. GMO grains and seeds. Okay. Nice try. A very, very nice try. Where there is one, there are many. So pay attention, everybody. Awesome. I love a hostile UAV. Now you know right where I am. Come and get it. Come and get it. Ah, nuts. That was, uh, not great on my part. Oh, God. They, whoa, they do not mess around this time. Three seconds, holy shit. Damn. Ah. I really can't imagine needing or using the Tempest gun. I really just can't. Not in this mode. Oh. All right. You know, really couldn't imagine it, but now we're going to give it a try. Ah, oh, fuck. I shit. Fuck. Shut the fucking wall. Alright, let's all stick together, guys. I knew it. I was literally holding uh, uh, left to actually check that. This is my favorite. <laughs> Once I've got somebody, I've got somebody. It doesn't matter what they're going to do. Once they're really in my sights, once it's all calmed down, they ain't got nothing. 
They ain't got a chance. I'll follow them all around. It's the moment they turn around. Just, pfft, they're dead. Jump around all you want then. What exactly? What is the score? Oh god. I'm doing pretty good. Now I'm not. 12 9? That's awful. No medals for second place. Crush them. Alright. Whatever you say, cartoon Russian guy. I'll uh I'll do that. Really thought I had that. Sweet. CDP stands strong. Crap. Nine more minutes, and uh, I guess we can play another match, right? Probably one more. We'll get my closing thoughts as it's going along. This game looks fantastic. Get back to boot camp. Alright, let's get on to the next match. Let's just do it again. And then uh, we can wrap up the video. I guess I can give my closing thoughts of the multiplayer. For the first hour. Uh, even though it's like 8 minutes in. Because I, I have a pretty long-winded idea of what's up here. Uh, do I recommend Black Ops 3 multiplayer team deathmatch? Hardcore? I mean, here's the thing. About this whole first hour stick that I do. Uh, it's predicated on the idea that. A game has a core mode, a core feature that you are meant to uh, you're meant to focus on, and that has not been the case with the Black Ops series. Yes, there is a single player campaign. Yes, there is multiplayer. Yes, there is zombies mode, but within multiplayer itself, there's team team deathmatch and, and, and domination. There are so many weapons, so many different unlocks. Of course, all games that I cover, there's always going to be more. But the diversity in the gameplay, yes, it's all running and shooting. The diversity in the gameplay, though, is, is, is staggering. Because something like Zombies Mode is very, very different from multiplayer and how you play it. It really feels like a different game in a lot of ways. Um, you know, and, and playing something like Team Deathmatch... And then playing uh, something like, you know, um, Capture the Flag on there. There's a lot of depth in these games. Uh, and so the only thing I can do in the case of, of Call of Duty is judge it based off of how the game feels. And, you know, I had enough uh, time with the beta that I knew going into this that I liked it. I like the way this Call of Duty feels. I like the double jump. I like the sliding. I love all of it. I like the way that the meter functions. I like the special abilities. I don't like that we are totally one side on this team. Why is that? Why? Whatever. You know what? More people to kill. You gotta look at it that way. More people I can kill. Which is super cool for Hardcore me. Team deathmatch. So I, I absolutely recommend this game. I, uh, I think if you're a fan of Call of Duty or if you haven't played Call of Duty in a while but you're eager to get back in, there is no better time. Black Ops 3... Black Ops, you're free to engage is not the game that uh, will be knocked off next year when they release another Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 is the game that's going to continue to survive. Look what happened with Black Ops 2. You know, it outdid Ghost. <laughs> it outdid Advanced Warfare on last gen. And I imagine Black Ops 3, unless something amazing happens next year, I'm talking like amazing, revolutionary with the games, It's people are going to be playing this for years to come. There's going to be... Oops, okay. There's going to be some map packs, yada, yada, yada. Sorry, buddy. Alright, come on. You want to shoot? Shoot. You want to talk? Talk later. I say before going back into talking. The game's great. Feels great, looks great, uh, fantastic netcode, 
tons of people to play online with. Uh, and even if you're not interested in that and you want to just do a campaign, you know, you want, or if you just want co-op, that's what the campaign is for. You just want to do co-op, that's what zombies mode is for. Uh, you don't just want to do team deathmatch, that's what domination and so many different modes are for. There is just so much depth in the options of how to play Black Ops 3. Uh, and maybe I'll play the campaign and be like, oh, the campaign sucks. So who knows? But just based off of my experiences with uh, the beta and, and playing here, it's still good. It's still so, so good. And I know I'll get a lot of flack for this. People don't want to hear that. They want to hear, same old shit as last year. Uh, Activision's greedy. Uh, they don't care about the gamers. No, I don't do that. I speak my own goddamn opinion. I will not repeat or regurgitate the things that will get me the most views and the most thumbs up or anything like that. I am real with you guys. Alright? 100%. I will always speak my honest opinion. Even if it's sometimes an uninformed opinion. Because, hey, it's the first hour. <laughs> hey, real organized real here. Um... And I love, uh, I, I really love what Treyarch has done with Black Ops so far. I, I really feel like this has depth to it. I, I missed not playing this game when the beta went away. So, you know. What more do you need to know? Well, you need to know that I totally shot that lady in the head and I didn't get the kill. So, this game sucks. You're out of 10. Um, you know. <laughs> no, I like it a lot. Now, let's, uh... Let's try and get some kills in before this whole thing wraps up. Seven minutes left. We got four minutes left on here. Alright. Shot him through a wall in case you're wondering what that was about. Bullet penetration is real. So if I was using a uh, silencer. If we got a seven minute time limit and the video's, oh, the video's ending soon. We had better hurry up and kill every single one of these dudes. And that's the thing that really bums me out, is people say they don't like Call of Duty. They just don't understand. It, uh, maybe it's just subjective, but I swear to God, this game has a special sauce. Once you have it, you're like, whoa, that's good. Yeah, there's going to be some people that just never will appreciate or, or like Call of Duty, and that's fine. No disrespect to you. Happy for you. There's probably other games out there that you're really going to like, and that's cool. You know, I'm always happy that people get into games. Oof. Wonder if they're gonna have next year's Call of Duty work with uh, PlayStation VR. <laughs> Though, if anybody can pull it off, it's the Call of Duty teams. They uh, very good frame rates, very consistent. Okay. Hostile UAV above. Yeah, come and get me, guys. I'm right here out in the open. Whoop. What's going on, man? What you got? What are you doing? Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Damn it. Got too cocky just standing right out there. Oh, and you don't get kill cams in hardcore mode, so that way you can't see where the person is. So you can go and kill them. Ah. Uh. You gotta be fast in this game, but, uh, I also, I really want to encourage anybody out there that's never played a Call of Duty before, um, that might be a bit just too intimidated, saying that it's too hard to get involved with. I really don't think so. These games are fairly simple once you, uh, how did I get an assist on that? Because he shot me? It's ridiculous. I highly recommend that if you're, you're new to Call of Duty to check out this one, Treyarch. Nobody comes close. Nobody comes close. And I, I didn't, I was actually not looking forward to playing um, Black Ops because I was not the biggest uh, World at War fan. So when I was like, ah, oh, Treyarch's going to be taking over this, the B team. Oh, I don't want to play that. The original Black Ops blew me away. It was the very first time that I actually completed a Call of Duty campaign because I really enjoyed the campaign. Then I had Robert McNamara in there and I'm a big fan of uh, Fog of War. So what can I say? What can I say? We're going to go in there together, buddy. Ooh, baby, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> right when the UAV kicks in. Anyway, I want to hear from you guys. 
Leave a comment below. What do you think about the game? Yes, if you hate Call of Duty, please comment. Whatever, I'm okay with it. I just think differently. I appreciate the series, really like it. Or maybe you appreciate the series for what it is, but just don't want to play it. I don't know. I want to hear from you. What's your opinions? Does this game look pretty? Do you plan on picking it up? Maybe not now, maybe down the road. Uh, how do you feel about the Call of Duty series in general? What do you think about Treyarch and the Black Ops series? What's your favorite Call of Duty? All that stuff. And, uh, yeah. That'll do it for this episode of the first hour. My name is Colin Tanner. And this is a very strange ending to an episode. But I've never had to do it while I was in the middle of an online match. There, I'm dead. Thank you for watching.